Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to find lesson plans or the lesson plans of other people or other educators from other schools um, for you to have a guide or even your old lesson plan in the lesson design studio for personalized learning. So of course what you're going to do is to log in with your credentials given by your administrators let me go ahead and text this one. You could uncheck this one so that next time you will not see this being shown when you log in. All right, so what you can do is just to search courses, units, or lessons in there, or you could search directly for a course, unit, and lesson if you're going to search it in here. Supposing I will... Try to search Egyptian influences, or I could say Egyptians, or just type Egyptians. So as you could see, no record found, but don't worry, you are just going to select subjects, social studies. If you are searching for your old plans and you will use it for this particular topic, or you are looking for a teacher in high school for two high schools like Ivana Yudorakian High School or Charlotte Amalia High School. You could also select the grade level if you know the grade level. You could type in the name if you want to, if you, if you go and look for my name and if you know the topic that you are um looking supposing if miss durant and me are teaching egyptian influences for this week supposing i am miss durant and i am looking for miss Inosa's lesson plan because we are sharing lesson plans i could go ahead and search directly you could just type in the teacher's last name or the course title text or the lesson title by the way, this is the lesson title. So I just have to put it in there. Or you could say teacher's last name only and then the subject matter. Okay. So if I could erase this one and would just search Senosa, I would see the lesson plan of Miss Senosa from day one to the last day that she have entered her lesson plan. And I, was, I will just select everything in there. However, I am looking for a particular topic. So I am going to search for Egyptian influences. And as you could see, there are Egyptian influences that, has been up, that have been uploaded before. I will just look for the present semester. Okay, and I will just click this one. So as you could see, you have already the plan of Miss Sinosa for world history, Egyptian influences, and then all the activities and all the details of the lesson plan of Miss Sinosa is there already. Page 1 and page 2, right? So you could go ahead and copy and paste this one, or you could save this via Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, depending on the format that you wanted to save this out, okay? But if you are on the web and would like to put this in your lesson plan, you could just go ahead and try to go to your plan, right? So you could select the second semester over here. If there is no unit over here, just add unit, okay? Because there is no Egyptian influences in here. So just go and add unit. So the unit title could be depending on whatever unit title that you have. So you could say this is just a sample. Influences, okay, and then save unit. So as you could see, it has already a unit of influences over here, right? So you just click this one and add a lesson. So what you're going to do is just to copy and paste everything in here from Miss Inosa. Okay, so the lesson title is 
Of course, control C, highlight, control C, Egyptian influences. And then the standard will be, this is Ella reading history for grades 9 and 10. And then you just select the data over here, supposing that you're going to use the code R 9 to 10 RH1. So it's there already. Then just copy and paste everything in here except of course for um the drop down menu earlier so you could just go ahead and try to control c select then control c then control v or you, you can always do this one if you are really that not that fast so you could right click and copy right click and paste Okay, so and then paste. All right, and then you're going to save the lesson definition. So if you're sharing a lesson plan, this is not very difficult for you. Okay, because you know, um, you just have to copy and paste. Okay, so let's try to continue. Control C. Now this is for the thing already. Let me see. Oh, this is for the no already. I'm going to go back. I forgot to copy something. Okay, so your behavior check. right and then your review make sure that you are copying in the correct box and copying and pasting in the correct box so this is the thing Okay, so what we miss is the no. Okay, so let's try to copy and paste this one. It's very easy because these are already ready-made lesson plans for you. Oops. Never mind the pair deck, because pair deck is actually like that. Right. So everything that Missinosa, if I am Miss Durant, everything that Missinosa have written in there, because you're sharing a lesson plan, it doesn't need if she, you have that permission. Okay, so if you have that permission, you could go ahead and instruction to the students. Copy and paste the lesson plans. Like me, um, in the real life scenario, me and Ms. Durant share lessons together. So I don't mind if she gets my lesson plan or she takes my lesson plan via um, Lesson Design Studio because we're actually sharing and using the same references. Okay. Right, so. Oops. Bear with me quite a bit. This is homework already. Oh, no, no, no. This is the homework. Let 
anyway, I might have uh, copied the other one. This is just a sample for you, okay? Alright, so for technology integration, let me try to remember to put down your materials. That's very needed to write your materials. And then also your technology integration. And then your accommodation. Accommodations and modifications to the students. Okay. All right, accelerated. And this is for the required or prerequisite lesson. If this is a continuation of the old lesson that you have. Um, there are four big four personalization strategies. Um, the drop down only lets you select one, so select the one that is closest to your lesson. But you could actually um, use all of those. Okay, so that's it. Then you can save the lesson definition, but you have to describe how you use that though, and then try to go to march 22 if this is your lesson plan for march 22 then save lesson detail right okay so basically that's how you do the lesson design studio searching for an educator's lesson plan if you know someone um, from the other school or from the other um, fit or teaching the same subject in your department that would like to share lesson with you a lesson with you or a lesson plan with you both of you could share a lesson plan